Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and we're working on page five. Page five of Blooming, which is Chabella's, uh, one of Chabella's latest collections. And we have a simple page here. We're going to lay this down as the mat. It's from the 8x8 collection. And um, we're going to put two photo mats here on this page, just nice and simple. But the, the patterns are pretty enough that I thought it'd be nice to do something just simple. You can add your photos directly to the top of this. So I'm going to add these two, and I'll tell you what the size is in just a minute. Um, and they do overlap just a little, and so I'm going to allow for um, us to be able to tuck our photographs under one of the two mats. And I'll show you what I mean as soon as I get this laid down. Okay, so this is a four by six, it's gonna go here, and this is a four by four and a half, four by four and a half. And these sizes came from the parts of the page that I was willing to cover up. So the four by six is gonna go like so, and the four by four and a half like so. So um, I'm gonna leave this area without glue so you can tuck your photo slightly under it. So the question is, do I want the green on top or the green below? And I think I like it below. So the next thing I'm gonna do is just basically evenly distribute it so this uh, two edge border and this two edge border are about the same. So I'm gonna lay one down and then we'll come back and do the other. I'm pushing it as far over to the right and as far up as possible because I want to preserve the butterfly and not partially cover it. Okay, so this one is gonna go down in its entirety. Put glue on the whole back of it. And I can't remember if I mentioned it, but I'll mention it again. This is from the 12 by 12. Uh, 12 by 12 patterns is this one. And I'll tell you in just a second where this is coming from. Uh, I'm gonna dig through and find a scrap that will help me determine where that came from. These are set in bed. There's a piece. This is from the 12 by 12 collection pack. So backgrounds collection pack. Okay, now I'm gonna lay this down. You can choose the direction. I kind of like this. So it's a half inch longer than it is wide. I think I like it this way. Okay, so I am gonna leave this corner open so when you put your four by six, you can tuck it under. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Put this little piece here so it shows you that you can tuck under when you put your photo in here. I think I'm going to add this right here. So let's see if we want to see if we want to mat it. I'm not sure if I want to, but I'm going to take a look at it. craft area. I've got too much stuff everywhere. I don't know if you're like me, but I um, I trim and then I save all my trim pieces and then kind of go through and 
um, especially in the white coat stock, go through and then sort of sort them by size. And then the ones that are too small, I just go ahead and get rid of. But in the meantime, I'm climbing over them during the project, which is not good, but yikes. You'd think I'd have a better methodology after all these studies. Oh, it's the sign of a creative mind. Chaos. That's my story. I'm sticking with it. I don't know if it's true, but I'm going to say it is. So let's take a look and see if we like this look or if we just want to let it down as is. The cardstock always makes it pop a little bit more and I like it. So I'm just going to glue it down on this side. This is from the 8x8 pad. Hello. Shane, hello. Hello. Mm -hmm. You want to take her for a little walk? Get some fresh air? So it's not quite centered up and down on this. Just that fuck. Funny. Fuss around with it until you find a spot that you like. Wow, I had a hard time saying that. That's it for page five. Nice and simple. I think it'll be beautiful with two photos here. And then, of course, we have this cut apart. And I tried to cut something apart and lay it down. And I thought, mm, it doesn't look quite right. And I think I would probably prefer to cut some of these elements out and layer after I know where the photo is going. So there you go. So that's page five, and we're on to page six. I'll be back soon.